Now, the next thing that you have is an old freezer. First of all, when did you buy the freezer? July. July of what year? 2016. Show me the bill. Well, I bought it on Craigslist. Show me the receipt. Show I me the. I don't have a receipt. You don't for have it. a receipt. You don't have an no. anything. Got an awful lot of papers there, Mr. Davis. You have nothing. Yes. You know, I'm not believing a whole lot of what you're telling me, Mr. Davis. Yes. So you bought the freezer used, and then for some reason you put it in her garage. Why would you buy a used freezer from Craigslist and put it in her garage? Because I was, I was doing construction at my house, and I have nowhere to put it. Well, what'd you buy it for? Well, at the no, time, no, no. You it bought, was, you bought it it was a good 16. deal to buy. You bought it because you thought it was a good buy? Is it that was, what you and, and I was going to use it. <laughs> Mr. Davis, so. dear, Mr. Davis. <laughs> Even you don't expect me to believe that. Oh, you're in yes. the middle of construction, and if you're in the middle of construction, the one thing, is my husband does a lot of looking at <laughs> the things to buy on Amazon. You know, every two, three hours, I get a package from Amazon <laughs> with two tubes of toothpaste and mouthwash and enough toothbrushes to last me oh, until goodness. I'm 140. <laughs> I get a lot of stuff delivered. But you know but what? My husband time. never looked up in any time that we've ever done construction or moving a used refrigerator that he wasn't going to keep in his house, but, that but that he was going to put in his sometime girlfriend's Wait. garage. He was storing it in your garage. It was in my garage. When That's... did he put it in your garage? I would go, I would agree with him, July 2016. Yes. Without my Where? permission, I didn't know it was there. You didn't... Well, you, I don't care. You had to know if it was there. You know, even I, mean, when I, I came home, he didn't my garage. Ask. I didn't know it was there. Until when? To when I came home. I came home about a week later, and I'm like, why is this freezer here in my garage? And he said... How can I get it in No. Your... And, and I said, asked him, I said, well, why you didn't bring the freezer to your house? Mm. Why you leave it over there? Because you know if it's storm, I'm going to go down there and park my car. Okay. Why did he tell you he brought the freezer to your garage? He didn't have an explanation. Where's the freezer now? It's gone. I know it's gone. It didn't walk yeah. out of your garage. <laughs> I understand. What did you do with it? I put it out there on the curve. April 3rd, this year, 2017. So if he came to the house, he wouldn't find it there with a marshal? No. She doesn't have your freezer. What's next? Nothing. So you're done. Okay, now I have your counterclaim. Return of property. What do you want? I have a chair that's at his house that I personally took over there from my house. I have two glass tables that is in his shed. And I have four original Lexus tires with the tires on there, the rims and tires, and two extra tires. What are they doing the there? When I moved with Mr. Davis and my son rented my house, my son had a washer and dryer, and in the area where I had my tires, I moved my washer and dryer okay. there. Mr. Davis, where are her tires? Well, I do not have them. Shh. They also, like your freezer, they didn't develop legs and walk out. Where are they? But I do not have her tires. That's not what I asked you. I do not know. I don't have them. I do not know. Oh, you see, that's the wrong answer. She may have lied to me when she said, I don't have it anymore. I said, well, the freezer didn't develop legs. So you had to know what happened to the freezer. So she said to well, me, I put it out on the curb in April. Whether it's true or not, I don't know. But at least she gave me an answer. She didn't give yes. me an I don't know while it gave her well, we time both, to think. Well, we had a shed together. A shed? Right. We had a shed together. And when she moved, she took her property, and I took mine. Just a minute. Where is the shed located? About six blocks from my house. So you're talking about a storage shed? Storage shed, shed. yes. A storage shed. So this isn't a shed that's on his property. There's a shed on his property, and prior, Mr. Davis did have, in my name, a storage unit. I don't care about either one of you actually. Assault. Yes, ma'am. First of all, I'd like to see a police report about the assault. They didn't make a report. Okay. The assault took place on what date? 12, 18, 2016. I'd like to see any medical evidence of the assault. Yes, I have medical evidence I'd and like I have to see it. pictures. No, yes, I'd like to see the first okay. medical evidence. Okay. Let me get the medical evidence. That's my doctor visit on the 28th. Does she want the pictures or are we going one by one? Okay. Mr. Davis, I want you to tell me what happened on December 18th. I've just read the medical record that I have. Well, what, what's ever in that report is not true because <laughs> December the 18th, we didn't have no physical contact. I'd like you to tell me the reason that you separated then on December 18th. Uh, the reason we separated is because she was accusing me of not being faithful. And it got so bad, she had to uh, leave and we had to separate because it was becoming un un very unhealthy.